What's going on, guys? Welcome to Rabbit's Used Cars. As you can see, the gas station's coming along, slowly but surely, and we have got one gorgeous little Camaro sitting here, a little drop-top 2011, making over 850 horsepower. 850 horsepower. This thing will eat a Dodge Demon's ass alive. And that puts joy in my heart, because I'm a GM guy. Sorry, Mopar boys. I know we had one on the other week, but... Savor the flavor. It's not going to happen often. But I've got a love-hate relationship with Camaros. And, you know, you remember back from my Vin Wiki stories, you know, my dad had the SS Camaro and I had my Mustang. And he literally wore my ass out every day on the way to school in his SS Camaro. Like, I couldn't win. My dad bought this car just to really kill my self-esteem, I believe. I mean... <laughs> And, and we were actually talking about this the other week and when this Camaro came in and, and, and just talking about all the bad memories I have attached to Camaros. I feel like I need to be talking to a psychiatrist, but I'll just talk to you guys. But like literally, you know, you got to think about the funny, crazy Camaro things that have happened involving Camaros in my life. Something a lot of you guys don't know. My first car was a Trans Am and then I went kind of dumb and got into Mustangs. And then I got a Corvette. There was no turning back. I was on the right path. Well, you know, I met my first wife, you know, we got married and I could have got a Corvette, but I got a wife instead. But the thing that was really cool about it was, is she wanted a cool car. She had this turd Honda Prelude. Like it was old, not like the cool Preludes, like the ones with the flip up headlights. And this thing burned like gallons of oil a week. It was the biggest POS on the planet. And I hated this car with a passion. So I couldn't have my bride riding around in a crappy ride. So what did I do? Well, I went to the salvage sale and I bought her a 1993 Z28. This car only had 7,500 miles on it when we bought it. It was in a real, just a real, real light front end collision. And the thing you understand about Camaro, especially fourth gens like that one, is those cars are sloped on the front. And usually when they're in front of collision, they go under anything they hit. So, you know, of course it scraped the top of the nose, busted, bent the hood, because the hood was metal, plastic fenders, rubber nose. We fixed the car, bright red. It was a no T-top car, which was kind of odd. Loaded out, super nice Z28. And that was my wife's car. And she loved that Z28. And you got a, a young, pretty blonde riding around in a Z28. You know, it was probably not the best car for your wife to be riding around in. You know, you got every Mustang jerk in town wanting a racer. And, you know, you got this, you know, girl riding around in this car so it caught, it brought a lot of attention unwanted attention and she was obsessed with vanity plates and she had hottie for her personalized plate like it never failed when i first gave her the car keep in mind going from a 91 prelude that wouldn't do zero to 60 in a month to a 285 horsepower stock z28 it was a big damn jump you know so i was really worried about it so i got smart when we were fixing the car I peeled the carpet back and I took a two by four and cut it off. And I actually took, we call it dumb dumb, but the same stuff they glue windshields in with. And I just urethane back piece of that two by four and stuck it to the floorboard, put the carpet over the top of it behind the accelerator pedal. It only run about 85 mile an hour wide ass open. Didn't say a word. Gave her a car. She absolutely loved it. About two weeks later, she calls me up and says something's wrong with my car. So what are you talking about? She said, well, I was driving home from work. Now, keep in mind, no interstate, riding in town. She said, my car won't run by like 80 mile an hour. What are you doing in your car? So, needless to say, I got I had to show her what I did. And I, and I took the two by four out. I told her, you're going to have to really watch what you're doing. I mean, this car would break loose. You know, it was a rear wheel drive car, you know, positive traction, of course, or limited slip. I just didn't want her to get to wreck it or whatever. Now, keep in mind, my first wife, she was 5'3". And, you know, that long dash and long hood. She worked for a hospital here in town. And she was pulling out from work, and I get that phone call. That one all us guys dread. Your wife calls you up. Oh, my God, I've been in a wreck. And it was just a fender bender. She pulled out of an intersection because she couldn't see over the hood. And she hit like a Toyota Corolla 
with it, and it skinned the nose, and it bent the corner of the hood down, just right there over the headlight. It bent the corner of the hood down this car. And I was already, my patience was wearing thin with this car. You know, several little instances popped up with the car, but first we'll talk about the wreck. So she got in the wreck. Well, naturally, you know, we had insurance on the car, and we let them fix it. Well, instead of putting a factory metal hood on it, we put a fiberglass SS hood. So now we got a hood with a hood scoop on it. So now she can definitely not see past the hood, but it looks cooler. And then of course she wanted a set of wheels. So we put a set of Chrome factory Z28 wheels on it. And then of course we wanted it louder. So of course, like every damn redneck with Z28, we put a Flowmaster on it. It just made it worse. Like I grew to hate this car. I hated it with a passion because, you know, it was just every other day. It was somebody, somebody's trying to race me or something like that. My big dummy, my big dummy buddy, he was talking to the cops in the Vinwicky store. He tried to race. My, he tried to race my wife. And, and, and it's pretty bad because she outrun his ass in it. But still, beside the point, I created a monster. And I'd seen this was going to be a problem. So I nipped it in the bud beforehand. I told her, so guess what? The Camaro's gone. I'm getting rid of it. I sold it to her brother. And, you know, the, all the stories about brother-in-laws and this one wasn't worth shit either. And he got it and absolutely destroyed it. It actually totaled it and it put joy in my heart seeing that thing tore all the hell because I hated that Camaro with a passion. So, so now we got the Camaro that my dad outrun me in, the 97 SS. We got my first wife's Camaro. I hated that car. And I think that's why I hate these cars so much. But I'm going to tell you something. This one right here is really changing my mind. You drive this 850 horsepower Camaro around drop top. These fifth gen, sixth gen Camaros, they have really, really, really come a long way. And this is, it's a great car. I like the Challengers because they stayed with more of the retro look, but horsepower wise, supercharged Camaro, drop top, black on black on carbon fiber. This thing ain't nothing but sinister guys. We'll catch you next time at Rabbit's Used Cars. Did you just say Oh, clock. Hey, Rob, it, I heard you making some call outs. Maybe. You don't want me to get on his two step. <laughs> you ran over my foot. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever heard of John Varvados? These converse didn't come from damn journeys. Matt Damon looking. I got your skin tight shirt on. Looking good, Ocean 7 Eleven. I mean, like if Satan was into Camaros and trailer park blondes, this would be his car. Callaway needs to stay into golf because this is Hennessy. Is it a Hennessy car? Don't say Hennessy nowhere on it. No, I was going to say, I don't it see is Hennessy. Hennessy anywhere He on took it, it off. It, it is a Hennessy. It's got 850 rabbit power. Pop the hood on the thing. Then set the Hennessy. We took it drink, off. Did he drink Hennessy? <laughs> <laughs> I'm about to drink some Hennessy. We got to get a new car guy. He does not have to do the top. He does not have to do the hood. Hell, this is way too new for me. Yeah, really. It's above my pay grade, bud. It's a high tech mug. Hell, I can't flip the <laughs> latch. It's over there and down. That's what she said. That's what I told her. This thing's got 850 rabbit power, Cody. 850 rabbit power? Yeah, it's right there. Oh, man, it does. <laughs>